Welcome to my video. Today's video is another story time video in our Getting to Know Us series. And this story is going to be about how we almost bought Gabby a horse when she was two years old. This is a story that I save for all of our dinner parties and the story that I tell all of our family and all of our friends. And <coughs> you'll have to excuse me if I, um, end up laughing in the middle of this story. It's always been hard for me to um, tell this story because I laugh so hard, tears are usually running down my eyes, but I'll try my best to stay focused. Um, as you guys know, both of my girls, both of our daughters ride horses. The very first time Gabby rode a horse, um, she was 22 months old and we could not get her off. It was a pony ride at a fair and literally she held onto that horse and screamed and threw a fit when we tried to take her off of it. That's how much she loved horses. Um, by the time she was a little past two, Sam was determined that we were going to buy her a horse. We had everything all planned out. He searched and, you, and he found a horse that was going to be the perfect fit for her. He found a farm that we could board the horse at. He had everything planned out. I just felt indifferent myself. I felt like she didn't really need a horse at two years old, but whatever. I just went along with him and um, so this is what happened. He found a guy that was willing to, that wanted to sell one of his ponies and so we drove out to his house. He said, I made arrangements to go to this guy's house and we drove out there to see the pony. So we get to the guy's house and it's a little drive from here and we get to the guy's house and the guy's not there, but his son is there. And the son says, oh, well, my dad's not here, but it's my pony and it's in the field. And if you drive down the street and around the corner, you'll see there's like this big hole in the fence. You could just climb through the fence and go in and you can look at the pony. And he tells us what color it is. Sam's already seen it because he saw the picture of it online when he found the pony. And Sam's like, wow, okay. And he gets back in the car and he's like, we get to go in the field and we get to see the horse and play with it. And Gabby's going to get to play with it. I was hugely pregnant. I was six months pregnant, seven months pregnant. I was six months pregnant with Sophia. So I had a huge belly two-year-old on my hip and we're gonna and he's super excited because we're gonna actually get to let Gabby play with the horse while we decide if we liked it so we go around the corner and yep just like the guy said there's a big hole in the fence big enough for us to climb through and even big belly and toddler on my hip I climb through this this fence Sam climbs through first holds it open nice for us and we climb through the horses are way down at the end of this big huge field I mean like they're way down there and Sam starts walking and it's a swamp. This place is a swamp. There is a path this big, just big enough for your feet, I like some wood, just big enough for your feet to walk through this huge swamp. There's swamp on this side of the path, there's swamp on this side of the path. So we're walking single file. I got Gabby on my hip, Sophie in my belly, and we're walking toward the horses. So Sam's walking, I got my head down, kind of trying to see where I'm going because I don't want to fall down with a baby and, and a toddler. And Sam's walking and we're just walking and I don't see anything because Sam's right in front of me. All of a sudden Sam stops dead just stops dead in his tracks and I bump into him and, and I'm like whoa whoa what's happening but I can't move because if I step off at any side of the path I'm gonna end up in the swamp in this swampy muddy water so I just stand there and Sam says go back and I, I'm thinking to myself what like what and he says go back go back and he just starts screaming at me and, and I'm still like got this little girl on my hip thinking what like what is going on I still can't see anything I look around him and I see way down in the field the horses have seen that we're we're in their house and they're coming but they're just not walking toward us nonchalantly they are flying toward us I mean it's like a stampede they are running toward us so I'm thinking oh I better turn around but I'm not overly alarmed even though I've had not great experiences with horses I'm thinking the God's not gonna tell us to go into his field if if the horses are going to charge us down but at this point Sam is in a full panic mode he literally I can tell he's like trying he wants so badly to push me out of the way so he can get to the fence because I'm just walking as fast as I can but I have this big huge pregnant belly and I got the baby on my hip and I'm laughing I'm laughing so hard because Sam literally is terrified and I have never ever ever in my life seen this man terrified not even one single time but he is clearly terrified so I'm going I'm going and as I'm going he's looking back 
And every time he looks back, he's like, go! And I'm like, <coughs> I start running. I'm like running as fast as I can being six months pregnant. I have to pee more than anything, anytime ever in my life. I have to pee so bad because I'm running. I'm carrying a toddler. I have this baby sitting on my bladder and I'm laughing. I'm just laughing so hard. So I get to the fence and I turn around and I see the horses are coming. I mean, they are close. And Sam is screaming, go, go! And I'm just laughing because honestly, they don't look that scary to me. Anyway, I felt like he was this close to shoving me off the path and throwing himself and diving through the hole in the fence to get on the other side. That's how afraid Sam was of these horses. But I climbed through the, the I climbed through the thing. Sam flies through the hole right after me, and the horses are and I turn around and the horses are just standing at the gate. And they're just like, hey, you got some grain for me? Like I swear, it was not a scary situation. And Sam was terrified. And he literally was sweat was pouring down him. He was like He's just like, oh, thank goodness, like, I thought we were gonna die. And I'm laughing. I'm laughing so hard and there's nobody around. We are all completely deserted and I know I'm gonna pee my pants. So I think, oh my gosh, I need to like just pee in the grass. But I, before I could even try it and pull down my pants, I was wearing a skirt, I just peed. I just, I could not even control it. I was laughing so hard, pee just ran down my legs. Like, honestly, it was the funniest thing that has ever happened to me when I've been with Sam. I've never seen him terrified and literally it was because the horses were coming to get grain. I, telling the story back, it does not seem that funny, but literally it, it I can't even describe. I honestly feel like everything in him not to push us out of the way to get through the fence to save himself because he was that afraid. But anyway, after everything calmed down, we found a bucket and it had grain in it and we got to feed the horses along the fence. We stayed on that side of the fence while the horses stayed on this side of the fence. And if you talk to Sam about it and in his defense, some of the horses were a massive horses. I mean, they were huge and yeah, so I guess if you were standing in a random field and you looked up and you know 20 horses came charging at you, you might be afraid too, but it just was it just was not like I thought it was going to be and in the end we decided not to get the horse a little more than it, than he had bargained for and so we just left. We didn't even talk to the guy again. We just left and um yeah, that was our the time we almost bought Gabby a horse. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.